PhD in science related science. In my branch of work, we study invasive stuff like expiring milk containers, which invade our immune system. Expired! And scotch brooms, which disable seeds from growing. Yellow! This is also called germination. The scotch broom was introduced by Captain Walter Grant, who is now infamous for planting the scotch broom on Vancouver Island. A round of applause for Captain Walter Grant, everyone. He did this in 1850 on his farm, which began spreading on the east coast for a while before invading the Gulf Islands and mainland. You can find scotch broom on your local highway or on the side of the road. Highway departments planted scotch broom as a bank stabilizer because of its deep roots and insanely quick growth. As you can see, I'm in the Burnaby ecosystem full of invasive plants such as the scotch broom. I have to be quiet or else I might scare it away. You can tell it's scotch broom by its iconic color, which is yellow. It bathes in the sunlight, but it's very shade tolerant. It competes with native species for available light, moisture, and other nutrients. But I have to be careful when I approach it. Ow! One way to get rid of this invasive plant is to come up from behind it and hand pull it. I'm going to attempt that now, but I have to be careful. Oh, this is a tough one. If I don't get rid of it now, it could continue to live and invade for 10 to 15 years. Yes! I got it. That's one down and 10,000 more to go. Now it's getting dark. I have to find shelter. Did you know that this invasive plant did not have any official enemies? The scotch broom also has up to 18,000 seeds in one plant. These seeds can remain effective for 60 years. Good afternoon, class. Today we're going to be talking about something called the scotch broom. Now, the scotch broom can be found on roadsides, grasslands, wastelands, you name it. Speaking of names, there are many different classifications for this invasive plant. Here are a few examples. In fact, scotch broom is just a common term we use to call it. Its real species name is Cystius scoparius, but here you can see that its kingdom name is Plantae, its order name is Fabalis, its family name is Fabiscae, its genus name is Cystius, and two other names for it are Angiosperms or Eudicots. This is boring. Can't you make this fun? Fun? Well, if you insist. Yo, Edmund, help me out here. What, what, what? What, 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 I'm gonna pull some plans, only got two hands, so join us So let's get rid of them, the earth will be okay again, this is extermination Yo, what up, let me tell you a thing about the scotch broom If you keep it living too long, it'll give the plants doom You see the plants cause extreme germination Bees keep it alive by continuously using pollination This pesky little fellow comes in white, red or yellow It tolerates drought conditions We don't have to use demolition to rid them of the environments And if we succeed, then we can bathe in our accomplishments yeah, I said it in future tense. I'm gonna pull some plants. Only got two hands, so join us. So let's get rid of them. The earth will be okay again. This is extermination. I pull these plants up high. Then we gon' say bye bye. And Edmund says hello to Mr. Weinberg. Yeah, let's go. I pull these plants up high. Then we gon' say bye bye. And Edmund says hello to Mr. Weinberg, end of show. If that's not fun, I don't know what is.
I'm like the chemistry.